If you never saw the cult classic movie, but I'm a cheerleader, now is the perfect time. It follows an all-American high schooler whose conservative parents find out she's a lesbian and ship her off to a rehabilitation camp led by Mary, played by Kathy Moriarty. Take a look. You see, you don't even think it's wrong. Until you admit your sickness, you will wear these. You will earn the right to wear civvies once you have admitted the first step. It's a long path to righteousness, Megan. And it's a battlefield of temptation out there and you're gonna have to fight. Until then, I'd like you to meet one of our other soldiers. Hillary. And Kathy is with us now. Kathy, good to see you. How are you? I'm well, how about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I got to watch the film last night. I didn't see it the first time around. I'm so glad I got to watch it this time. I really enjoyed it. So it's the 20th anniversary of the film. Since then, it has become such a cult classic. What are kind of your memories of being part of this movie? And what did you love about it? I loved the cast. I loved the material. I liked that I thought I could do something with the character and like really believe in her, thinking that, you know, this is... This is something that's out there. Well, let's talk about your character, Mary. Um, she is, I'll let you tell her, tell us about her. You know, I play Mary, who runs a camp that if you think your child is a homosexual, you send them there and I'm gonna send them home conformed and straight. I really believed in everything I was doing as I played it. But, uh, you, you know. Have to. I, yeah, you have to. And that's what I did. And when I saw it, I was like, you know, this movie's really good. I'm always curious how people get roles because obviously you were already established. Did they write the part for you? Did you have to audition for it? I didn't have to audition. Um, they offered it to me and I had a couple of weeks off and I liked it and I liked the premise and I thought I could do something good with it. Yeah. So well, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was that. Well, so the, they're releasing the director's cut. It's got a lot of extras. Um, it's got cast reunions. What, so what was the most fun for you kind of revisiting uh, this film? Just um, reconnecting with everybody in the cast. It, it's fun to see everybody and where they are now and how everybody evolved. Yeah, so sure. Uh, you know, you mentioned Raging Bull. Um, so yeah, Raging Bull's having its 40th anniversary. Yeah. I can't believe you were a baby on that film. Um, but, you know, you opened up in a recent interview about kind of, not really you know, like the behind the scenes uh, environment, not really knowing Robert De Niro very much. You're really good friends now. I always be very grateful to all of the people in it. I mean, they were nothing but kind and encouraging and guiding. And he taught me so much. So this was oh, your first role. You were 18 years old, working yeah. with the greatest actors of our time. Like, how do you think being in that film shaped who you became as an actress? they were willing to teach me so much and take the time out for me. And I'm grateful for the fact that, that I, I was able to learn and pay attention somewhat, yeah. um, you know, to be able to be given that wealth of knowledge, being nobody and to put that kind of time into me um, is really, you know, very, very special. Yeah, I mean, and it, and it paid off all that knowledge that you got on set because you did get so. nominated for an Academy Award for that film, though. Did but did. Well, just talking to you about it makes me want to revisit that movie, too. I'm glad I got to watch But I'm a Cheerleader. I'm going to go watch Raging Bull again. But I'm a Cheerleader is on digital 4K on Apple TV and everywhere you buy movies online. Kathy, it's so good to uh, catch up with you. Thank you so nice much for your time also. today.